my vision is big. I'm not here to come and, and smile. I'm here to smile, obviously. But I'm not here to just get up, eat, go sleep, get up, eat, go to school, go to sleep, get up, eat, go to sleep, go to, go to work, go to eat, go to work, go to eat, buy nice things. There must be something else on earth that is for you. Paper and pencil is so out. To the people in my school, the computer is so exciting. And if they are interested in what they are doing, they will remember it. No tests needed. I mean, they will know. We don't want to put away books because books are important. Books are good because you can carry books around with you and read them. But I see I see libraries having more computers than books, so to speak. My vision is to see technology centers set up so that children can have the same learning opportunities or can explore new technology because there are some children in Jamaica who have never even seen a computer. Times are changing, we're advancing, we're stepping, we're moving ahead. So if everybody is moving ahead, why is the education system still as it is? I mean, I think that they should be moving with time. We can't stay old forever. I mean, we need something new to excite children because we're really bored. We know technology can make education better. We know it can teach so many things. We know the computer can teach so many things. But we don't want to get rid of teachers, do we? I have like three role models, but I have a really important one. His name is Mr. Bell, and he's my math teacher, but he's so much more than a math teacher, you wouldn't believe. To me, it's not about math, it's about life. He teaches about life. And sometimes when I do things, I say to myself, would Mr. Bell do this? And should I do this? And when I ask myself, would Mr. Bell do this? Sometimes I get the answer. You need the teachers. You need the teachers. And teachers like Mr. Bell just emphasize the need. Technology is good, but teachers, Mr. Bell is like unbelievable. When I think about what I want to be, I look at Mr. Bell and I say, well, this is what I would like to be. I'd like to marry a man like him. That's for sure. I see myself in a village, kind of, like a, like a village, like talking, as usual, <laughs> but I see myself talking to people, going to different schools sometimes or going to different places and speaking to children, speaking to adults, speaking to them, hearing their concerns. I want to be a people person. There has to be something more than material things. What's really important? It's what you have in your heart, it's what you think, it's what you say. It's how you relate to other people, that's really important. I'm not clear on my exact mission, but I can, I'm not clear on that yet, but I'll get there someday. I think kids should have have more of a say because even in the future they're going to be the future. The generation now is becoming too caught up in material things and we have to look beyond that and say okay we're not on earth for these things we're on earth to help people to change lives. Everybody has a different mission on earth. I believe that everybody has a different goal. It's up to you to discover what you are here for. And it's definitely not the clothes. It's not the clothes, it's not the shoes, it's not the jewelry. I mean, it's nice to have those things, but that should not really affect what you do or how you think. <laughs> 